The All Made Up podcast is brought to you by Airdrop.ai, the tool that allows you to generate passive income through using airdrops. Airdrops? No, airdrops. But what are airdrops, Harry? Airdrops are free incentives from cryptocurrencies which reward you for using and interacting with their application. Right, so you're telling me I can set up a new revenue stream today? Exactly that. If you go to airdrop.ai and sign up to the whitelist, you'll get invited to the private beta. Well, I better go and do that. And so should you at airdrop.ai. Sign up, make some money. Do you know where Lewis is? Yeah, he's probably signing up. At airdrop.ai. It's all made up again. Yeah. It's all Hello and welcome to the All Made Up Podcast with me, Harry Stacchini. Me, Lewis Coleman. And me, Daniel Muggleton. <laughs> <laughs> the show where each week a guest joins us in the writer's room to create a story like you and we have never heard before. Not quite knowing what's around the corner or what we'll find along the way, as this podcast is exactly what it says on the tin. It's all made up. Bang, <laughs> bang, bang. It's poetry. It, it is yeah. It is good. Liquid football. Oh, champagne football, um, that one. You have no idea how worried I was when I said my name that I was supposed to say it's all made up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> just the anxiety. I was like, I've already cooked it. <laughs> Important for the guests. So it's huge honour. Thank you. Thank I know, you, mate. Well, I, I appreciate it. It's, uh, we, we appreciate you coming down. Thank you. And who we've got on today, Harry? Uh, our guest for today is the fantastic Daniel Sloss, everybody. Hey, me. Uh, and again, thank you so much for doing the pod. No, man, thanks very much for having me. Yeah, we, uh, we, 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 we obviously got the opportunity to come out for a week. Yeah. And uh, we've had people on this before, like my housemate came on this. Yeah. And considering the people we've had on this week, we're like, we've grown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it is, also, it is also because your manager has seen me do unspeakable things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is blackmail? Yeah, yeah, right, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 you know what he's like, he's good. It was set up as, as like a bribe, but... But, you know, yeah, yeah. The, but the, the the stick to that carrot was very much photos of me in my twenties. <laughs> <laughs> That's superb. We need more of that. Right. Okay. How, many, um, how many Netflix specials does your housemate have? Uh, yeah, mate. He's got two Netflix accounts. Uh, so, <laughs> I mean, he's doing all right. Uh, um, but yeah, we've had we've been doing this like thirteen episodes, and I said to you both before we kind of got cracking. Mm. Ben, who's usually the host, isn't here, and he went to France on Tuesday, and then on Wednesday was recognised in this tiny town for being there on this podcast, and uh, that is it's mental, isn't it? Yeah, it's progress. He yeah. did have some video with the he had to do a video with the guy to yeah. prove that Ben it wasn't was, lying. But yeah, and the guy very quickly got out of frame. <laughs> <laughs> We still got him. We still got him. Um, but yeah, we do appreciate you both coming on it. Um, what, and well, what I was going to ask is, um, how was the playhouse? Uh, sold it out, didn't you? And yes, did two twice. shows. How was that? Oh, I mean, stupid silly. Like, you know, everything you've ever dreamed of in your career and then the whole time you're on stage, <laughs> every second you're enjoying it, your brain's just going to be like, they're going to take this away from you at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you don't belong here and this is all going to disappear at some point. That's quite a, quite a deep thought. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like I, I, I love listening to comedy podcasts and I just, you know, only in the past like five years has my career like blown up, blown up. But like to hear so many brilliant younger and uh, newer comedians talk about fucking imposter syndrome and all this stuff. And I'm like, I get every single fucking li- I think the only comedian in the world without it is Dave Chappelle. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like he's the only comedian and also Joe Rogan but who really considers him a comedian yeah I mean yeah he's definitely like the podcast guy now I yeah. met, um, no 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 he's the world's greatest UFC commentator he was a very good host uh, he's the biggest podcaster and then as a hobby he does stand up yeah. would you have to get blackmailed to go on Joe Rogan I've turned it down twice Oh, really? I didn't yeah. know this, actually. Fucking, okay, there you go, Rogan. We've got him. <laughs> <laughs> in a student accommodation in Edinburgh. <laughs> There's no fucking amount um, of money you could ever fucking pay me to look that man in the eyes and pretend he's my equal. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd like to know more about that, but I don't think we've got time. <laughs> um, I was going to ask, though... Um, the uh, do you know Tony Woods by the way? Yes, yes, Tony right. Woods, yeah. Australia's favorite comedian. Fucking yeah, yeah, goddamn right. Some of the, <laughs> some of, and some of the greatest material on Australia comes from Tony Woods. Absolutely. We are talking about the same Tony Woods, yeah, like old hey, black baby, guy. I'm yeah. Tony Woods. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Okay, cool. Famously in Australia, did like one of the galas, like, yeah. you know, one of the like the Melbourne International Comedy Festival galas, and apparently he did thirty minutes. Yeah. In a four. Yeah. So he was wow. given four, and there's like an infamous kind of, you know, story back home. And he's like, he did 30 to the point where the camera people put the cameras down on the stage in front of him to be like, Tony, 
It's it's over. <laughs> <laughs> he's just not a bit in defeat. Exit the stage. Yeah. No, no, he's doing. He's killing. Oh, he's, he's right. killing. There's, right. no, there's no way he wasn't killing. Yeah, yeah but it's just not understanding what's going on. He's just like, I'm just fucking smashing this gig, bro. Like Tony, please, yeah, <laughs> please stop. There's I, young I, comedians who need this more. <laughs> <than you. laughs> I worked with him in a. Well, I didn't work with him. We went to go. Me and Connor Burns and Liam Farrell. They went to go and do a gig in Eindhoven at Wonka Festival in March, and he was on the bill, but in the other room. And it's the first time I've met someone and I'm like, you are effortlessly cool. You know what I mean? Mm. Like just, and the nicest guy, but like I knew him from being Dave Chappelle's mentor. Mm-hmm. And you're just like, you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah. And he is selling t-shirts out of a suitcase. I was like, <laughs> mate, you are fucking funny, but like you, you don't need this. <laughs> right, like, but yeah, amazing comic. But um, yeah. I, um, well, what I was going to say is, is um, I've, on uh, your Instagram story at the moment, you've been mentioning about this Bruce the Bat sort of situation. Yeah. Yeah. How's that going? Um, for the listeners, there has been, from what I can gather, a bat which has been residing in your sort of fireplace. Is that right? We have a wood burner, which obviously is a chimney outside. And the other day, our two cats who are just hunters, and we didn't realise how much they were hunters, were staring at it like it was a TV. So we were like, oh, it's probably a bird. And we get in there, and there's this tiny little fucking bat. And the, the problem is, bats are more protected than homeless people in the UK. Right, bats okay. have infinitely more rights to know. You cannot uh, move a bat uh, from where, it, regardless of where it's at. You cannot move a bat. Uh, they are protected. Uh, uh, all s- types of bat. Yeah, uh, all of them, oh. all of them. And but they're this protected. <laughs> but you also there's no group of people that will like come out and rehome them or remove them. And when and, and even when the SSPCA came out, because my wife had them for years, they'd be like. He just won't leave. We've released him three times. And mm. uh, next morning we come and he's still in. The, he's like, hey, man, we're like, buddy, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the guy was like, he's healthy. He's a year old. He's a he. He seems fine. If he keeps coming back, this is clearly where he thinks he lives. Uh, so unless he's injured and unless he's like really doing awful things and he's in danger himself, we can't move him. So wow. you, can't, you cannot legally have a pet bat. But a bat can select you. Yeah, to <laughs> see it's a squatter. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that is amazing, man. They are unbelievably fucking cute. Like really, uh, like it's this one. It's a bit this big. It's like it's a mouse with wings. I think you were saying something about like I'm um, having good memories though as well. Like so, you can take it somewhere else, but yeah, it'll find its way back. We have woods across the fucking road from us, and the thing is, bats cannot take off from the ground. You have to hang them from a tree or a clothesline, like clothes because they have to drop before they can take off but we don't have that many trees in our car to, so my my wife hated my suggestion of well why don't we just like the no like d- doves at a wedding ah, okay. ah you throw it up and then yeah. he's got the but i think she was worried that the fall would I, just i think the bat would probably be more appropriate for the funeral than the wedding just a very goth way yeah. <laughs> Real sad. You play bat out of hell. Yeah. You release it. The yeah, guy with me- the beard gets married. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah. Meatloaf trying to eat some. Yeah, you'd, have to go, you'd have to go about a bell. I was thinking like my way by Frank Sinatra, but a bat doesn't really have the same tone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a different different feel altogether. So, so the final plan is tonight while, while I'm here at dusk is when they hunt because we we got like a bunch we you know dead bugs that you find in the fucking garden or in your house somewhere. So we've been putting them in there, making sure that you can eat those. But bats don't eat really unless they're flying. Wow, because right. wow. they're hunters, so they catch the thing and they're just easier. So yeah. there's just like a pile of moths that we put in there where he's just like, fucking, why would I eat something dead? Like, what, yeah. what, what is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But then we I'm release them. And so she's going out tonight at dusk because that's the best time for them mm. to hang him in a fucking tree and just beg him not to come back. So you guys like handling the bat? Like we're, so we're not. We've, because it's the, because in our wood burner, we have very big fucking wood burner. Gloves. Got some mitts. Mitts, mitts. Yeah. But got, it's got the fingers. But because he sometimes comes down the floor, we're able to like, he's on a he's on a bit of cardboard where his water is and his pile of bugs that he won't eat. We can lift him on that and put him into our hands and then take him out. But the bad guy, the SSPCA guy, came with just a pair of fucking marigolds and like picked this little guy out, spread his wings out like he was fucking opening a book. This bat seems like just so thumb. That's mad that that bat seems like so easy to just handle. I imagine like like being like a chicken, you know what I mean? It's like fucking going everywhere. Mad, but surprisingly not. Like even when we pick him up, he d- well, because they cannot take off from the ground. So when you right. pick them up, oh. they're just like, all right. He well, like wants to take off, but he's like, yeah. I can't. I have no I idea. The clearance. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> upside down. How the fuck do you expect <laughs> me to do this? There's just such a different level of respect. Because in Australia, when you see like a bat flying in the sky, you clap. 
because the sonar makes them change direction. So it's like a bit of fun. Oh. So you just clap and the bat's like, uh, 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 doing like a zigzag around the end. Yeah. And also you're driving around occasionally and you could see one bat who landed on a telephone wire and just cooked itself to death. Yeah. And you're like, ah, nature's ornament. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, think Christmas I've... is coming. And they're fucking huge. Because like m- my wife was getting so annoyed because... I'm like, that's a baby bat, because it's like this big. She's mm-hmm. like, it's not a baby bat. In the UK, bats are just fucking tiny. And I'm like, he's a tiny bat. I'm putting it on my Instagram stories. Everyone's like, that's a baby bat. That, and it's all Aussies being like, that's a ba- baby bat, that's a baby bat. And you're like, yeah, of course, because your bats are like Scottish seagulls. Like, they're <laughs> fucking yeah. units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Scottish <laughs> ones, like everything, just small and a bit shittier. <laughs> like our football team. <laughs> And that is, yeah, I've never known so much about bats in the last five minutes. Yeah, I know. Uh, so we have, we've had a, well, my wife has had a crash course, and every night while I'm in bed reading my book, she always tell me everything that she's learned about bats. She loves animals more than she loves human beings. So, mm. Except our son. In, <laughs> but he's, the, he's the one exception to yeah. that rule. Uh, Interesting facts, I was going to say. I think your wife went to my girlfriend's show on Saturday night. Is it uh, Please Love Me? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was with Kate that she did. Kate, uh, did she go yeah, with Kate? Yeah. yeah. Um, how did, did she speak about it? Did she find, did she, she like it? it? Yeah. Well, so so my, my wife loves the French, uh, much like I do. Her record for shows seen at the Edinburgh Festival is 25. Wow. Uh, wow. And this is like the first year that she's like, I'm going to fucking really give it my best go to beat it. And we've got so many friends who like live in Scotland and they just don't come to the French because like add on every year. Yeah. Like, and, and when they do come, they go and see the most popular things, which is fine. But my wife is like, you've got to take at least three gambles. you just got to go see something you were recommended, something that you wouldn't normally go see, something you've seen before and all this. So they wanted to go see a band of man as their main thing because that's brilliant mm. every year. And she was like, I'm just going to book shows around that. And she ended up booking uh, Please Love Me. And I think my cousin... Uh, my younger cousin was like it was really really heavy and dark and I wasn't yeah. whereas my wife is my wife and she's like yeah pretty dark it was good she's like yeah 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 yeah. you'd like it was good yeah yeah dark and horrible and, and cruel and yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, well, cruel's the wrong word but you know what I mean like yeah. dark well and, she was buzzing after I told her because she didn't recognise it at first because I think she posted it on a story saying like thoroughly enjoyed heavy stuff but thoroughly enjoyed and I went to Clem I was like you know that's Daniel Sloss's wife and she was like no way because she was going to be doing the pod at one point yeah. but her show also clashes with this yeah, so yeah. but yeah i thought she'll uh, she'll be buzzing that i've mentioned that so that's good yeah anyway shall we get into the actual all that's made all. up podcast right so this is all made up with daniel sloss and then there'll be like a little transition and then i'm going to explain got these graphics. rules hmm? got graphics, you got graphics yeah we've got graphics yeah, wow. big. Yeah. yeah massive in france man <laughs> <laughs> it's all made up baby so, Dan, thank you once again for coming on to the All Made Up pod. So, today we're going to create a story together. Okay. Consider this like a writer's room. You're the lead writer and we're your assistants creating a story. In front of you, there's three pots. You've got like a green pot, a red pot, a yellow one. The green one's a starting sentence. Red one's where we're going to end. Yellow one's curveballs in between. But before we dive into them, we're going to create a character together. Yeah. Okay. So, what would you like your character's name to be for this story? Uh, let's go Cassandra. Cassandra, okay, right, Cassandra. okay. Does Cassandra have a last name? Uh, yes, and it's not her husband's because she's a modern woman. It's her <laughs> oh, <own>. right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just say this because I made my wife change her second name <laughs> to my second name. Did you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like the play, but my last name's Muggleton, so it seems cruel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, S- Sloss is cruel, but her second name used to be Mitchell, and I'm like, I just got a phone book, and I was like, you see there's how there's two pages of your lot? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. Right. <laughs> Mitchell's ain't dying anytime soon. We need more Slosses on this planet. And I now feel very guilty because she's had to change everything, everything in her yeah. life, <laughs> including her signature. And I now, yeah. That's I mad, never that. thought yeah, of that. I never that. did. My poor fucking wife sat in our fucking kitchen just redoing her signature over and over again. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm a monster. Yeah, yeah. I'm a monster. I should not have done this. But it's too late to go back. Take a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Cassandra, what did we say her last name was? Cassandra Knowles. Cassandra Knowles. And okay. she's a modern woman. She's not took a fella's last name. No. But she, obviously she is married. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she's a modern feminist, but she still does doggy. Right, okay. She's got, like, she's got like the, you know, yeah, she's got a bit feminism of life in everywhere it. until it's in the bedroom and she likes that reversal of like, I'm powerful and I'm my own thing outside. Yeah. But when it comes down to... Batter me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, in a very consensual way. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right, and just how old is she? What, what are we looking at? She's, uh, she's 27. 
Oh, right, okay. She's married, married quite married young. young. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, well, it's actually true love. Despite all of her, uh, all of her beliefs about women should be there for themselves, like she did just meet a very good guy very early on, and uh, okay, and, and and it's true love, and she and, and she can't deny it. And that early on is that like seven years together? How long they? When did they first meet? Yeah, let's go uni. Okay, so yeah, yeah they what, did, what did she study? Um, Great question. Man, it's my first time, but I really thought that was the logical next step. <laughs> <laughs> Chemical engineering. Chemical engineering. Chemical engineering. Yeah, yeah, Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Brainy. Yeah, but at what uni? Uh, uh, Glasgow, Strathclyde. Right, okay. Is she a Glasgow woman or is she from somewhere else? No, she is, uh, she's Geordie. So right. even though she's in Glasgow, she's accepted by them. Right, okay. She's, you know, she's, Close. The Geordies aren't the English we hate. Right, okay. Because they also suffered from Thatcher. So they're, right. the Geordies are English when it comes to the World Cup and the Euros. And outside those two years, they, they're ours. <laughs> yeah, they belong to me. And so she met her, her fella at the chemical engineering yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Is, he a, is he a Glaswegian? Or? He is. He right. Is, but he's doing fashion. fashion? Oh, right. Okay, yeah, same yeah, yeah. uni, different course. And we've got, have we got a name for him as well? Uh, yes, it is George. George. Just George. George early, didn't George. George. Just George. Yeah. Just George. Just George. Cool. George. George Knowles, obviously. George, George Knowles, of course. Yeah. Never Knowlesy, just George. Just George. Oh, yeah. just, to, just to be a stickler, so it was Cassandra Knowles, but she didn't take his last name. Oh, so, fuck, so, so it's not, oh yeah, fuck, so it's, so, so it's not George, so it's George. No, you know what? He took her name. I like that. Right, okay, yeah. First of all, it's fashionable. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, only, only because his birth name, for some reason, was Hitler. <laughs> and he was just so. George Hitler? <laughs> George Hitler. <laughs> George Hitler. <laughs> and, oh, then, and then he met Cassandra and she was like, I'm a feminist. I don't want to take your second name. He's like, baby, I'll take yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no wonder he wanted to get married young, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's lose this last yeah. name. George <laughs> Hitler fashion. Yeah. yeah. What yeah. are we making? Trench coats? Mostly. <laughs> Man, he would be devastated to find out that his childhood sweetheart from the age of 16 to 18 was uh, called Penelope Stalin. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, I can't, I can't have a workout. <laughs> that is funny. Okay. Right, okay. So we've got, uh, she's obviously a working woman, married woman, what, happy woman. But what, what are they doing, um, like, living situation-wise? Are they in a house? Are they in a flat apartment? Oh, the, they, they, do, they do well for themselves. Like, uh, she is... Uh, here, now, here's where my knowledge runs out. My brother does chemical, did chemical engineering at Glasgow University, and nobody go, and what does he do now? He works for me, so if she can't work for me. That would be <laughs> <hard>. <laughs> I don't know what chemical engineers actually end up doing, really. Um, they're, well, they're engineering chemicals at some sort, yeah, and maybe we can make that up along the way. I, mean, I, I don't think you can use the words to define the words. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah. if you're aware of dictionary hey. rules. <laughs> Dan, you're first on the pod, mate. We do what we do. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I just like to bring some object, objectivity to yeah. this otherwise solid unit. Um, <laughs> if I could sow some disunity, I'm feeling good. Well, let's, say, let's just say, sorry, I was just about to say, if there was engineering a new chemical or working on a particular project, like what, do you know what I mean? What could that be? Is she trying to, to it's, it's her who's got the... Yeah. I, chem- got, I think I want it to be weapons. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, well, with the last name called Hitler, maybe that's an inspiration for her. Not and she, anymore. Yeah. No, but his... Be like George Knee, like George Knee, Knowles knee Hitler, you know that thing? <laughs> that N-double, I don't know what it means. So yeah. I think it's Latin. Is yeah. it Latin? She's, she's not making Zyklon C, if that's what we're, we're all asking here. Right. Maybe she's, she's making be- DMD. She could be like a kind of break, Breaking Bad style. Kind okay. Of yeah. Yeah. okay, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. But just DMT, ethical. Yes, and it's for, and she's doing it for experiments with people with mental health issues, PTSD. I like it. And like bipolar, and you trying to see mm. if she can use psychedelics, psychedelics yeah. to help. Which has been, it has helped, definitely yeah. has helped in the past. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this is set in Glasgow. By the yes. way, okay, cool. And modern because there's chunkies everywhere. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah. she just gets to pick yeah. them off the street. Her, 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 pl- yeah. her plan is to just have chemtrails of it over the city. Right? Yeah. Just be curing people. They're growing teeth and everything. Um, so just quickly, is this modern day? Yes. Okay, cool. Contemporary? Um, Contemporary piece, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I think we've got, we've got enough, enough flesh on the character there to sort of like pick our starting sentence. So if you pick one of uh, them green ones at random and there's a blank in it, and where the blank is, put in Cassandra. Okay. <laughs> Cassandra was put in charge of an investigation. Superb. Right. Okay. Nice. Mm. So that's our starting point. Where's our finishing point? It's on the red card. So if you pick one of them at random, and this is where we've got to get to in this story. Okay. She was now the, they were now the owner of 5,000 Jack Russells. 
<laughs> right. Oh, okay. So obviously there's been some sort of like chemical reaction, which yeah. maybe have caused this. Maybe, but we'll find that out along the way. So starting off, uh, what was it again? It was... Uh, she is put in charge of an investigation. Okay. What's the investigation for? Is it this sort of drug that we were talking about, this new sort of, or is it a separate one? I mean, it could be, why was why is there a guy with the second name Hitler in Glasgow? That sounds like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why have you that married sounds, him? Yeah, 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 that, yeah, sounds, yeah. that sounds like some really bad relocation, like after 1947. Yeah. So, um, it, it, so maybe their marriage then is based on, like, a, she's a spy. Whoa. You know what I mean? Like the idea of that if if she she's like loved him up, you know what I mean? It's very much Ooh. like keeping him close, learning about him. Or just making sure that there's no more Hitler left. Yeah, out. yeah. Just trying to like find out what's time's going on. Like, you know, what did your granddad used to do? Like, yeah, he was, you know, he was uh, an official guy, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ran a few camps, you know what I mean? That type of thing. Uh, she's just like... Yeah. And did he wear a suit to work? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just like the idea of no more Hitler left in him. Like at the breakfast table, be like, man, that George Soros has some good ideas, huh? <laughs> 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 While eating a steak burger, he's <laughs> like, "I'm fully changed. Just check. I love the Jews and I love me. I couldn't be more different, baby. Yeah, and, and paintings are shit. Yeah. <laughs> them. No good. So, what, what, what route do you want to go now? Do you want to have her like investigating her husband, or is it is it the chemicals? Is she investigating like how? Oh, I think it's I think it's I think it's a better story if she is she is j- trying to find out, j- looking into whether he is <laughs> the last in the bloodline. Yeah, the last in the blood, like, and not not because she knows he's a good person. Like they've been married, yeah. they're, they're in love with each other. She's a good person, but if he's lying to her, yeah, that one of his uh, older relatives was in the Hitler family, probably Adolf Hitler. He should tell her because they tell each other everything. Yeah, are you, are you saying the last of the like? Could we call this the last Reich? Is that <laughs> is that the name we're looking for? Well, we title it. We, we do title it at the end, but at the moment, that is the front runner. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, Our working title is the actual the term. I, yeah. I want to be a stickler. That's my character on this podcast. Just really yeah. bringing down. That sounds the like flow. a German general. Uh, <laughs> Hair stickler. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. All right. How about this then? Uh, <laughs> how about this then? So the inve- that is the actual investigation to find out if he's how much Hitler's left him in in him if he's actually like yeah. part of the family. But she's saying to him that I'm actually creating a new drug. You know what I mean? That's like what she's going to work for, yeah. mm-hmm. but not. You know what I mean? Yeah. So she's yeah. lying to him because she thinks that he's lying yeah. to her. I think that's a nice little touch. Also, which, who was it that was, that made, what fashion company made Hugo Boss. Films? Hugo Boss. Yes. So that's actually where he wants to work with his fashion degree. <laughs> ah. So yeah. right. there's bits where she's like, oh, Mm, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a bit. He's like that's bringing just... back the jack boots. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, these are these are jazzy, man. <laughs> is there any reason just... you drive a VW? Yeah. Like, just <laughs> a very takes a sip of Fanta and is like, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just made a wallet that looks like a Luger. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. I like that. Um, and that's how long has this investigation been going on for? Well, I think it's her own personal investigation. Oh, exactly. Right? Like, I think it's, I, I think what's happened is it's sort of been in the back, because when you meet somebody called Hitler, you're like, well, I mean, you know, and he's obviously, obviously no relation, mm. blah, blah, blah. They date, they fall in love. She realised he's a good guy. Uh, and like every couple of years when they're drunk or doing one of our experimental drugs things, she's like, you got to, like, you, yeah. you, it, even like a distant cousin of Hitler yeah. is like not involved in Hitler in any way. And she's like, fair enough, I believe you. It comes up every two years, except for now somebody from the nephew of somebody from the Nuremberg trials <laughs> okay. is also on her course. <laughs> it's on her course. It's on the coming. No, no, he can't. No, no, because if he's put in charge of an investigation, it's got to be police then. Right? What, what if... Like uh, well, I'm, I'm thinking like you'd be no, like Interpol, you know what I mean? It'd be like a massive, mm. uh, like a super agency, you know what I mean? It's not going to be like local law enforcement, is it? <laughs> I, I, I think I think this, at this point, she's the only person who's suspicious of this name. I don't think anybody else is coming for George, are they? No, here's the thing. This is in Anstruther, where I went to high school, uh, the last week, one of the biggest Holocaust deniers in the world uh, was found in Anstruther. He fled France because it's a crime in France to deny the Holocaust. He fled to... Uh, they couldn't find him for like two years and then they found out he used, where he used to go to school. So they're going to fucking extradite him back. So like, it, there is still you know, some tie to wow. if you were anything to do with this or even if you modern day tonight, we're going to get you. We're going to take you back to Europe so you can sort of face the consequences. So maybe it's, you know, maybe it's... Their, like, you know what? Maybe it's fucked up and, and Germany has just been like, you know what? We shouldn't have given Hitler to Argentina. So okay. we're just going to 
cleanse the bloodline. <laughs> so is, is, is she reporting back to like Angela Merkel on the down low? Yeah, yeah. Mar- Merkel's doing she, it she's, in a She's in a WhatsApp group with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the, the former German... Yeah, yeah, Prime Minister. Minister. Not even the current one. No, the, I, I don't know who the current one is, mate. Neither, I just, neither do I, but I did want to trip you up. I'm a stickler. Yeah. <laughs> He's a stickler. <laughs> I like that this. could be the current one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like that. Right, right. so what you're, what you're saying is, just for clarify, before we get our next prompt in, you're saying that she is actually, Cassandra's working undercover and reporting back yeah. to Germany. Mm. Right, but it's a true love. It is a true love. It is a true love, and, it, and, it's, and it's difficult for her. Right, I okay. Know, it's going to be tough. Because she, she, doesn't, she doesn't want it to be... Yeah. True. She doesn't want him to be. She can, wants to believe him. Can, can we just have, do you know, like uh, like Operation Barbarossa or something like that? Can it have an operation name? Okay, yes. I like the idea of it, you know, like the Blitzkrieg type of thing. Yeah. I feel like it should be named, you know, the way Germans name everything, just so, like, like abortion pills are called anti-baby pill in yeah. Germany. Wow. That's genuinely true. <laughs> That's what they're called. Yeah. I feel like it should be something as Germanly unsubtle as that. Okay. Yeah, and it's all like one word because they just yeah. kind of combine the thing into the yeah. noun. Yeah. So Operation Vatist the Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> or something. We have to be short and punchier. Uh, yeah. I can't believe it's not Hitler. <laughs> we don't know. Yeah, that, yes. that, 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 that yes, is very is. good. Yeah. Operation I can't believe it's not Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> that is superb. <laughs> right, okay. So on that note, we found out that obviously she's working undercover. Um, but obviously, giving information about a true love, which has obviously caused that bit of conflict, is he suspicious at all that she's doing this? No, no, because he's also wrapped he's, up in fashion, and he's in love with her. Like yeah. he dotes mm, on yeah. her, he thinks she's great. He would be crushed if he if knew. He, if he yeah. because like when when I when I say she's doing investigation, she somebody's approached her being like, "We're doing this thing, and if we find out your guy is actually the guy, we're going to get him. So you can either assist us in this." And then you won't be an accessory. So she's tr- she's doing the investigation to also try and prove him innocent because she wants him to be right, innocent. Okay. And he would because he said to her so many times that he's not. He would be crushed if even for a second he thought that there was doubt in her, but and that she was working with someone to. Yeah. Of okay. course, and I think with a, a scientist, it's sort of like the famous for like um, truth comes truth comes first, doesn't it? So it's like that that trumps love maybe for her. It's like I do love you a lot, but I've got to find this out. Yeah. I think that's a nice note to sort of get into our first prompt. Yeah. So basically in that middle yellow pot there, pick one at random and we've just got to incorporate this in the next couple of minutes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she saw a cock poking through her letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, cock, C-O-C-H. And he went, that looks like H. it. Yeah, how was it spelled, sorry? Because it could potentially be a German last name, maybe a letter from a relative. Yeah, cock poking through in its eyes. It's just, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah that works. Yeah, we don't have to go, like, filthy. I like yeah, being a bit yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Daniel's done a very good job here creating a story that would pass the Bechdel test at this point. Like, I don't <laughs> think we need to ruin it with fucking cock. <laughs> what is this, HBO? <laughs> yeah. Do better. <laughs> okay, I like this. Hell. So, instead of it being, like, an actual... Knob. Yeah. We're going for it is an operative, maybe, or yeah. someone who is coming to inspect yeah. uh, mm-hmm. after the information what's been given from yeah. Cassandra back to headquarters. And he's pulled up in his 1940 VW. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. It's Undercover. like, it's, yeah, yeah. Long trench coat, black yeah. gloves, <laughs> like, yeah, full, yeah. full, full look. And, she, and she's like, and you're here to find the Nazis, yeah. Hitler, to do bad stuff. And he's like, yeah, yeah. 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 He, yeah he's, his opening line is, your papers, please. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, ugh. Weirdly, the dude's played by Christoph Waltz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eating a strudel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> eating a strudel. Oh, yeah. how about this then? Okay, just to add another twist, maybe. We can roll with it, or we might not. So that chap has rocked up to the house. Information has been intercepted when sent from Cassandra back to HQ by a pro-German uh, like Nazi sort of organisation. Right, Do you right, know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Like a neo-Nazi group. If, well, yeah, so if they find him, they're like, well, that's the last bloodline. We can't let him go missing. We need um, him. You know what I mean? If we were just adding that twist, we might not do, but I'm just throwing it out there. Know. Right, okay, so Cock turns up to the Cock house. Turns up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I think I, I like the idea that Cock is, you know, he wants it to be Hitler for those reasons. Exactly. He wants it to be the, the lineage mm. of Hitler because mm. he's a horrible neo Nazi and he's right. like, if we get yeah. the great grandson of Hitler, we can start we can, the, yeah. the, the last gold, strike. Golden Age, I mean, get the it last strike. We can yeah. start the last strike, brought the title back yeah, in. Yeah. 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 Is this an Edinburgh show? Clever. <laughs> <laughs> like it. 
the stickler coming through again. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> um, right, okay. So obviously he knocks on the door first, maybe, um, but he doesn't get answered. So then that makes sense that he's looking through the letterbox because yeah. that's what it says on the card, doesn't yes. it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, so, so he's, letterbox. he's looking through the... So cock through the letterbox? Cock poking through their letterbox. Or maybe they've got like an American outdoor letterbox and he's like literally poking through it, mm. looking for like bills and stuff to see whether, yeah. you know... Right, so did they spot him on the ring doorbell? Is it Cassandra who's something that notices him? <laughs> <laughs> She's like out on her phone. What do you want? <laughs> Is that a Nazi in there? <laughs> right, because I think if if um, George saw him, it'd be a different story, wouldn't it? Or is it, he does see him, but doesn't confront him. It's like, mm, that, what's what's yeah. he doing? You know what I mean? And then that leads to a conversation later with Cassandra, like there was a guy rummaging yeah. through our letter, but I'm just trying to think who sees him first. Oh, I, I think George does, and I think that raises suspicions in Cassandra. She's already had the inc- the the seed of doubt put in her head by this guy that's asked her to investigate, mm. and then this neo-Nazi. And we don't know whether George knows about it or not, but he's rifling through things. George goes out to confront the guy, but we don't see what the confrontation is. Right. We mm. only see Cassandra arriving, seeing this neo-Nazi in yeah. his fucking German car, talking to him. And George's explanation has been like, it's one of these fucking assholes who thinks yeah. I'm the great grandson of Hitler, yes. and and I'm so angry. But she's like, it's, it's, it's a cover. She's got more paranoia coming in there. Yeah. Like she wants to trust him, but he was literally just talking to a neo-Nazi. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so she's seen it completely different. She's like, oh, that's he knows that person. Yeah, he yeah. knows that person. Yeah. And also, as the audience, we don't know the conversation. All yeah, you just know, seen it from a distance, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we see, we see like him rifling. He waves through, him off. What, <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love that idea that like he's coming out being like, mate, you know what happens? My last name's Hitler. These fucking neo Nazis, they come up. They're like, hey, I just want to give you a hug. You know, love your work. And it's like, I'm not <laughs> love your work. A fucking Hitler I'm not dude. Him. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, she, and she's like, but why? Are you, how long were you talking to him for? Yeah, mm-hmm. on the ring. The do- I'm, on, I'm on the same ringo as you, <laughs> right? Yeah. And it says you were out there for 10 minutes. <laughs> ten, why were you talking to a neo-Nazi for 10 minutes? He's like, he wouldn't take no for an answer. You're like, yeah. oh, that does sound like a neo-Nazi. Yeah. Like, why, and, why are you timing my interactions with strangers? Do you not trust me, Cassandra? No, baby, of, co- of course I trust you. It's uh, just, he had the, you know, there was a swastika on his fucking license plate. Yeah. That's not even legal. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to be a higher car. Like, what's going on with Enterprise these days? Like, hearts. It was hearts. <laughs> 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 yes. Sorry. Right. Very good. Very fun. Right. Okay. So <laughs> we've had the, we've had this interaction, and I think is is the reason why this chap has turned up cock. It is an actual interception of the information that Cassandra's sent. That's why he's come to the. Do you know what I mean? So it's actually she's trying to discover stuff about him. Information being intercepted. That's how they found their address. Or is he just found it? Yeah. No. I, I think she's putting together like a document. You know what I mean? It's and like she's drip, been spied drip, on. Yeah. And it's like, it's, it's, it goes in the letterbox and it's collected. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, that's, that's the exchange just to make it look like it's completely... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Very well, yeah, it could be. Like, he was like, he was looking through our letterbox to make sure I was Hitler, but that could easily be a way for him to transfer a note or to take some notes. Yeah, exactly. Secret, secret signals potentially from George to the neo-Nazi community. So, may, so maybe if she's... Oh, sorry, mate. She's collected this information. Uh, <laughs> uh, they are very red, like third right trackies, them as well, mate. Like they, we've got the colours. Um, but um, uh, if she is, she going to have a conversation with like uh, what's it called? Like your senior? Handler? Yes, a handler. Mate, there you go. Yeah. Does she have a conversation with a handler like later that day, being like, um, maybe he's, he's called Handler as well, <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Handler? Uh, uh, um. No, I. I I, I think she, I, th- I think she doesn't want to believe this was even though like it's a pretty big red flag. <laughs> she does trust George in that sense, but it does. It's like we're getting towards the final straw for her to switch into fool. Oh God, that's mm. that's him. And again, at this point, we don't know whether George Hitler yeah. is actually. Can, can I ask uh, you uh, as a as a head writer, um, how reliable is Cassandra as a narrator? Is she is part of maybe the developing the DMT that she's taking some DMT because she's actually the control for the experiment. How much? Oh, do you think we shot her island this? Like, like I'm just... We, to, uh, we, we had a shot her yeah, island we, element we, 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 the other yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Keep going, keep going. This I'm is... Yeah. like Because, you know, she, she seems a bit paranoid. She's yeah. met this guy, changed the name, clearly doesn't want any association with the Hitler, but now... Like some German talks to her about like a thing and she started to distrust everything and she's checking the ring. Do you know what like, be, yeah. 
Yeah, I love that. Uh, so, so do do we think that she is? Uh, is she abusing the substances she's making herself, or mm. is, is there like a leak that she's not even aware of? So it's not even. Like she's becoming more insane, but just doesn't. Yeah, know. the fume. It's the fumes. Yeah. Like when she's been creating it. Yeah, yeah. It's just a passive, and she doesn't realize. Maybe George is realizing, and then. Well, maybe, maybe. And obviously, he then be like, eventually, at one point in this, he confronts her on that. He's like, you, "It's ever since you started this job, you've started to go crazy." Yeah. And she's like, "The second I get close, this fucking guy." Because <laughs> <laughs> you know how women accuse men of gaslighting. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that was a joke. That was a joke. That was. A, I've written shows about feminism. <laughs> so, so what I'm thinking is I think you're absolutely right I think when she's been concocting this new chemical this new drug the fumes have sort of been getting into her system and then all the time she's had that sort of like urge to take it you know what I mean the fume it's like no I'm better, I'm better try some of this just as like a coping ne- mechanism maybe or or, or or is it like she's got this like because she's getting the, the leaks from her office and that's where she feels calmest mm-hmm. whenever something happens with George that makes her freak out she goes I need to go to the office to the, sorry this goes to the lab to think mm-hmm. because that's where she thinks she's getting yeah. better yeah she thinks she's get, but she's actually yeah. getting worse because of the leak. like a, yeah, a sauna of DMT yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's some, some DMT stones what she squirts water on <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking sweating her back off <laughs> the, the end of the episode is just her on Joe Rogan's yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah. She's got the only lab in the world that's just pine. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah and Joe Rogan would stop. fucking love her, wouldn't he? Absolutely. What, you was high on DMT? Tell me about it. Wow. <laughs> right. Like, okay. Do you have wild accusations to base with no backup that I'm not even going to research? Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. I like where this is going. I think we've got a nice little... I don't think she's had that conversation with him. He's not had that conversation with her yet, saying... No, I think that's later on. That's a bit, that's a bit later. So I think, no, it's... We should get another prompt in. Yeah. So I'll pick another yellow one at random. We'll try and get this in in the next couple of minutes. But this story is yeah, up mate, there, isn't it? It's going well. Mm, better than their invasion. <laughs> uh, okay. So uh, the estate agent... Ooh. Quickly marked out his territory on the dance floor. Right. Okay. And I th- sorry. Go on. And they end up with what? Sorry. The last line is is the, the, the estate agent quickly marked out his territory on the dance floor. So right. So is he marking out his territory in terms of like this is my uh, land on the estate? I'm like um, I control. What's a little town in Glasgow? Oh, but let, let's go Paisley. Paisley, okay. and is there a town next to Paisley, which, you know? Probably. Yeah, yeah, probably. Do you know the name of it? <laughs> no. No, <laughs> let's make up a name. It's, no, small Glasgow. Troon? i got a mate Troon. who comes from Troon, we can go back Troon. in Australia. Troon, Troon very small. I was yeah. un- understood it was very small. Right, okay, so we can take this two ways. Like, this estate agent, which obviously our character is going to be, is marking his territory. Is it, it's like, this is my patch, I do Paisley, you do Troon, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or is it like, he's marking his territory with his dance moves, you know, mm-hmm. like on the dance floor. Or is he marking his territory oh, 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 just pissing everywhere? Or, or maybe this could be a bit of the first time in the movie Hallucination. where see a, a, a lapse in memory from her. Like, she, mm. she, she, she confronts him about the neo-Nazi talking to her. He, she kind of believes she kind of doesn't. She's like, I need to go to the office, to, to the lab to think. Mm. She goes there, and then we sort of cut to her in a nightclub at like two in the morning and she's sort of just becoming aware of you know right. how she got there or whatever yeah and, and then they're uh, in my head what that made me think of right so she's like getting high off the fumes or whatever she's mm. took some of this drug and she does that she goes oh and then it match cuts and she's in a club bouncing her head you know like that instant like change right. yeah. of environment is, is this is this like a contemporary thing is it like a flashback like a memory she had of the past I think like, it's a fast yeah. forward fast I think forward. I think it's a it's okay, like a so like forward. yeah it's Oh, are you going backwards? Oh, no, I, I hadn't even considered that it could be a flashback. Because that would be... Is what, she if to re- what if it's the night they met in a club, right? Mm. So, like, she was she was dancing and this estate agent comes over, obviously just, like, looks like an estate agent, got his blazer on and that, and he's, like, dancing and she sees Hitler. No, um, right, sorry, I'm... Ba- if it's the night they met, right, so flashback, cuts to her to the dance club. 
there's an estate agent. Mark is is a dickhead. This this estate yeah, agent. Yeah, gotta be. Yeah. But they all are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So absolute dickhead. Mark in his territory, and maybe George comes and like sort of helps her from the situation. You yes, know what I yeah. mean? He gets her out of. So yeah. what is this? What is this estate agent doing in the club apart from marking his territory? He's he's he's, he's marking his territory not just on the dance floor. What he's at, he's doing that thing where he's just going up and like grinding on girls. Man marking yeah. him. Yeah, yeah, man marking it in a gross way. And the way she meets George is she does that thing of like she goes up for a drink, fucking creepy estate agent guy yeah. comes over and it's and like either George slips her a note being like order a cosmopolitan if you want me to get rid of this guy oh, yeah. order a gin and tonic if everything's fine etc classy yeah and to just give her the, the th- and then does that and she's like I'll have seven cosmopolitans yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> what, what is a what comedic is, moment in the movie yeah, like, I, I enjoy that what yeah. is um, what is George wearing because remember he is studying fashion at this point so I imagine he's being quite experimental he's with wearing with a red tracksuit yes. like the hottest outfit <laughs> of yeah. yeah just to add the intrigue bit of red bit of white bit of Black. Can we please have him in jack boots? Please. <laughs> I want him in knee high. Yeah, there, there does have to be a small thing that, because this is what she sees in the flashback. Right from what the start. Like Goose trousers. No, no, no. You no. know what it is. You know what it is. It's Suckle. that tan jacket with the German flag, just that tiny little German flag uh, on it. You know yeah, that one? Yeah. yeah. It's just massive in like 2011. Is that. He's got yeah. that. And I, I have several Scottish friends who own that jacket exactly. who are not German, right? Yeah. So yeah. in this flashback that she's getting, this small detail that she never fucking noticed before was this thing, which mm. obviously a fashionable thing. Yeah. But now that she's becoming more paranoid because of the drug leak, she's going... That's yeah. yeah, this is it. She's yeah, there yeah. being like, is it the German flag or is it the Belgian flag? They're so fucking <laughs> right. similar. I can never remember. Yeah. One's yeah. Across, one's okay, one. okay. So what I'm thinking is, he's wearing this jacket, yeah? Mm. He has slipped through a knot oh. on the bar, which we've already mm. established. In pure German. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm I'm like, <laughs> but also, right, in her sort of hallucinogenic flashback, she mm. has sort of remembered that where he pulled the note from, there was like maybe like an envelope or a letter or a piece of information, which mm. is just sort of like, he's still got that jacket somewhere in the house. I Ooh. think. Oh, Ooh, nice. Yeah. She, she in her, Fuck yeah, brother. So like she's it. been thinking back in, back in her little thinking spot at the, at the office. She just goes, right, that jacket. I'm going back. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah. So where could this jacket be in the house? Is it in the house? Or is she yeah. rooting for something that isn't there? What do you reckon? Is it as subtle as it in a wardrobe? Is it in like a trunk that's padlocked? You know what I mean? It's, <laughs> like, it's like dead obvious. Like, well, do not open. Yeah, what? Well, because I mean, in German. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nicht off the <Yeah>. bitter. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, at this point, I think we're sort of deciding whether, you know, George is. Is 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 he Hitler's <laughs> relative? Well, oh, maybe, no. maybe I think, like you said before, about this confrontation that happens between them. Maybe she's rooting around the house. Oh, what are you looking for? D- nothing. Just leave me alone. And then she keeps rooting. She keeps rooting. And then maybe he goes like, "Does she go to go to the attic?" And he just goes, "Stop!" But it's yeah. stop in the sense of like, literally, just stop. Not stop. There's something up there. Just yeah, stop. And she's like. I'm going up there, and then there's the confrontation which you mentioned before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, yes, yeah. so it's also about yeah, he's stopping her going up there, and he's just like, this is just getting exhausting. Mm. I'm gonna take a fucking ladder down. There's stuff up there. There's you know, <laughs> and, yeah, and she's increasingly paranoid, and he's picking up on the paranoia, and he thinks it's cause of work. He's blaming the work, and it's just like you just you go and yeah, yeah. A bit, I, I think you need to <laughs> see someone, and she's like, no, it's. It's real. Yeah, I've got I a really th- good doctor. It's called Mangler. You, 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 you go see it. I think, I think there's that sort of ultimatum maybe from George and he goes, look, if you go up there, that's us done. Yeah. That like, I can't say this anymore. We've mm. been together seven years. If you like, can't- is that your final solution? <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely going behind the paywall, this one. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I, think, I think, look, all, all I'm picturing is just... She's, we might just find a new demographic. <laughs> That's the main thing. Go on, go on, go on, Dan, what no, you like they're, they're, having, they're having, like, their big confrontation. She's just had, like, this memory, so she's got to, like, root around the thing. He's just come home to see his wife rooting around in, like, the attic, being like, what is going on? You're getting weirder every single day. And he's like, what are you doing? And then she's like, why did you go to a nightclub with a pen and paper? Right? She's freaking out. Yeah. Who does that? Weird. Well, he was a yeah. bartender. <laughs> yeah, that's he's the bartender. Yeah, because that's why he was... Uh, oh, he was the bartender. Yeah. I didn't think bartender he was the in a bartender. German jacket. That is even more suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I think hip, she's hip getting bar. confused. Oh, I think yeah, maybe... Hip, hip study. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, what about this? If it's a flashback, right, and you're saying that George was working the bar, 
Maybe she's confused the estate agent. He was the one wearing the German jacket and the bar. Do you know what I mean? She sort of like crossed the memories up and it was like, it wasn't his at all. So she's searching for something which is, isn't there. And she's going, where's the jacket? German jacket, logo, there, you've got it. And he's like, do you think I'd be wearing that with a fashion degree? You know, like yeah. he, he wouldn't be wearing yeah, something like- it. Yeah. yeah, awesome. Yeah. Okay, so what was the last line we're working towards? Just to, as a reminder. Towards they now, they are now the owner of- 5,000 Jack Russells. Right, okay. So we've got to we've got to incorporate that. But once again, that could be the final hallucination from her. So yeah. do you know what I mean? Like she's took so much that she has genuinely become potty. Like, mm, yeah. but right, go on. Well, I, I, because he, here's what I say, go, like he's obviously not to any relation. To yeah, her, no. To right. no. Hitler. It's probably just some, like two old Scottish names that were eventually shortened to shortened and then just became this small sort of thing. He's so fucking bored of it. Like, I, also, there aren't that. I don't think there are that many neo Nazis in Scotland. Like, we're too busy oh, yeah. hating ourselves. Yeah, this investigation, <laughs> this investigation, investigation completely is her, is yeah, in a red. She, like, there yeah. is just this unfortunate mm. leak, and this mm. brilliant woman is actually becoming insane. Yeah. But because she's always been smarter than her partner, yeah, it's affecting her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like a beautiful mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think, you know, it, but I, I don't think we know George is innocent for like 90% of the fucking movie. Exactly. Right? We yeah. switch between. Mm. Um, but I would like the, adv- you know, I don't necessarily want this to be, but I would like her to, you know, we don't have to see her be fine at, fine at the end, but like it is all, cause she doesn't lose her mind and she okay. doesn't. Right. It doesn't Imagine result she gets 5,000 therapy dogs. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like surrounded by Jack Russell. Like, this is the only thing that makes me feel better. Yeah. So, yeah. So, right. So let's just go out the point. So she could be the owner of 5,000 Jack Russells or he could become the owner of 5,000 Jack Russells. Yeah. Are we saying it's going to be Cassandra? Are we saying it's going to be her that gets these dogs? That, that kind of implies that their relationship doesn't survive and they're not there, Jack Russells. Yeah. So are we, are we mm. making that call? I oh, think oh that's a good... I think they stay together. Do you, what do you think? Do you think they stay together or...? I, I don't know. I think, I think maybe, like, the idea is that the DMT has some kind of medicinal quality, yeah. right? And she's been paranoid. He's been confronting her. The marriage is breaking down. You seem like you have something... I have an idea. Jump, so jump. The, 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 the scene in Wolf of Wall Street where they take the lemon quaaludes yeah. and they don't work straight away. Mm. So I think that she has to go through this paranoia first before the effect actually comes to the forefront. You know what I mean? So there's like a delay. Mm. So for the first week, maybe, or the first month, however long this story has been going on, she's been in this first phase of this drug. And in fact, she maybe did or didn't know beforehand that this was a side effect. You know what I mean? But it's only when she gets into the second phase that her mind becomes clearer and that, oh. do you know what I mean? I'm yeah. just trying so, to. So, when, so there's like a there's, there's like a slow release, uh, like DMT sort of thing. So it takes like a week for the hallucinogenic properties to come in during that blissful stage <laughs> where she's like, well. We're all one, so therefore we're all Hitler, yeah. and we're all the Jews that died, and we're all the people that died, and we're all the people that rescued them, and we're all the people that sent them. We're all Hugo Boss, and we're all Elon <laughs> Musk, and we're all this. And he's poor George is just there, like you're not back, but I'm so glad you're out of that fucking stage there. Yeah. And that's when she realizes that it was the paranoia that there is a leak here right. that, uh, and, and she slowly sort of comes to. Or, because drugs are class, <laughs> <laughs> and people are inherently sort of addicted to the modern things, maybe she's just like... Leans into it. Yeah. Yeah, as a bath well, in it. I, I kind of thought there was like the potential, because you have like that univer, uh, uniform experience on DMT, right, about like meeting the higher power. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what if she's like, I, I just need you to understand, take the DMT with me. Right, you know that is, like, a, this yeah. Is like, because she's like, he'll be honest oh with me God, yeah. on it. They take it together, have the uniform experience. Yeah, but he all meet sorry. the higher power, who is Hitler. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, guys, yeah. I was infertile. <laughs> and like, that's the end of it. <laughs> yeah, and they both wake up and yeah. turns out in their like two day long DMT bender. They bo- they've both been talking about Jack Russells to each other. <laughs> and she's like, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I bought us 2,500 Jack Russells. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, you're never going to believe this. I also bought us 
2,500 Jack Russell. <laughs> and what's the final line? And they were now the owner of 5,000 Jack Russells. <laughs> there we go. Superb. Congratulations, Superb. chaps. Man, you should say those Jack Russells march. <laughs> <laughs> Right, well, what a journey that was. How, how good was that? No, that was unreal. Uh, did you enjoy it? How was the experience for you? I did. It was, it was like, I didn't, I literally just threw in the name Hitler at the start just because I was like, fuck it, that's where good. And then just, I, I imagine like all four of us just been like, fuck it, we got to keep this as far away from actual, you know, yeah. the Holocaust and, and all yeah. the, the, the sadness and thing that goes with it. And also, you know, any Nazis. And I think we did well. Yeah, yeah, I, I, th- I think yeah. we was... To start with Hitler and end up with 5,000 Jack Russells is pretty good. Like, <laughs> yeah. You'd be pleased with that. Yeah. yeah German Shepherd's very different movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how did you find guest hosting, Dan? How was Look, that for you? I, I had a really good time. I'll be completely honest. I'm very glad that I wasn't uh, Mr. Sloss for this one because I feel like he had to make some key decisions early on. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, fuck that. I just want to enforce plot structure. That's yeah. what I want to do. I want to uh, be on the side. Like Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, give um, me all your art. Um. <laughs> so what we usually do is we just have like a tiny, tiny break. And when we come back, we will think of a name for this movie, uh, what the poster would look like, a soundtrack for the trailer, and you yeah. can offer a line for the pot for a future guest. Okay. okay. So we will be back in one sec. <laughs> and we're back. Uh, Dan, <laughs> thank you once again for an amazing story. Um, like, uh, like I said earlier, we're going to go a few, go through a few things, story, casting, this, that, and the other. So firstly... What would we like this piece to be? What would it be called? Are we happy with Last Rack? I really, I'm, I'm, yes, I really liked the first time I heard it. I think it's... I like it. Is nice there something thing. that's like Pony? That's you know what I mean? Because yeah. we usually, we, we had like, we did an episode about a woman who made urns. She would gatecrash funerals to sell urns and it was called Urn Baby Urn. Right, so sure. like, <laughs> something like that. I'm just, you know, trying to... Keep up with the yeah. I keep like the, the last right. I really do. But like, is yeah, there? Of course, you're British, so you want to turn into a fucking pun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You guys think they're clever yeah. when everyone else thinks they're lame. Hey, yeah. hey, yeah. they get eight likes. Thank you very much online. <laughs> yeah. So they get eight likes. Yeah. yeah well, exactly. I take back everything. <laughs> <laughs> My current record is seven. <laughs> um, but yeah, go on. So let's think about the, the themes. What we're in. It's so obviously Germany. Big theme. Drugs, Hitler. Big theme. DMT. Drugs. DMT. Uh, Hyler power. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm a fan of yeah. that. Hyler. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm coming across like the biggest fucking Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. making what I think is shit puns. And everyone's like, Jesus Christ. I think you're nailing it, mate. I don't, I don't yeah. think at any of the camps yeah. we're just making puns. <laughs> I think, <laughs> like, I think, I, I think, I think they were doing much worse things. Mm. Sorry, I know they were doing much worse things. <laughs> they objectively were not. Hyler power. Are we going for that? Is there any advance? Mate, you, you're two for two on the strong ones there, so... Well, yeah, so can someone else come up with fucking something? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, why, why? When gold was put down. Right, okay. <laughs> right, okay. And what would the tagline for this movie be? God, it's got to be like one of those fucking, you know, got a ukulele intro, like kind of trailer, like the ukulele under the trailer, and it's like just kind of dark. Like just you know that indie, indie film ukulele song like Blue Valentine like that kind All of right, just okay. like ding 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 and it's just like oh god yeah. just like rifling through things and there's like oh you're yeah. going on about song gear yeah oh no, I'm really thinking like to give the tagline oh flavor. right I see I get what you mean like, I get what you mean I don't mean. think it's uplifting but I also don't last, think like it's night. it's like that Martin McDonough kind of stuff right where it's oh, funny um, but evil that, have you seen Jojo Rabbit yes no uh, uh, jo- Jojo Rabbit Taika Waititi it's all mm. about. Um, Nazi Germany, but mm. told in like um, funny way. a funny way, like a yeah. kid's retelling to some extent. Very so sad, I think you know. that's the sort of vibe I get from this. Mm. I don't think it's like really heavy. I think there's some lighter tones in there. Thank God. I, th- uh, I, I think it's a healthy mix of Jojo Rabbit and Shutter Island. I do want there yeah. to be like a solid hour of the movie where we're in Cassandra's head and it does feel like it's all, yeah. you know, there is a point where she is, there is a neo-Nazi group in Scotland and they are trying to find the young Hitler uh, the, the, uh, and and we worry about that, and then in the end, it just turns to like the the comedy scenes in um, Twenty One Jump Street where they take drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think it's it's making me like I'm just trying to think of like trippy songs, like you know, like um, Jefferson Aeroplane. Uh, don't you want somebody to love? But maybe it's all like it's like slowed down. Oh, a, a slow version of Don't You Want Somebody to Love would be fucking creepy. <laughs> yeah. Thing. yeah, yeah, And then and then yeah, when yeah. like the the comedy bits of the trailer kick in, it then goes back to like a nice. Thumping sound, you know what I mean? That sort of maybe chuck that one out there. Anything else? Any suggestions? 
with, with the tagline, you could just be like, what the fuck, but fuck spelled in like a really weird German way. Two yeah, but, Ks and extra With two dots above the yeah, U. Yeah, and an umlaut, like. What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What yeah. the fuck? What's the fuck? Like, I think that. He yeah. said he was from Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> What's <Yeah>. a fuck? Eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I oh, think that yeah. could. I think that could work. I think that could work. Potentially. WZF. What's the f- <laughs> v- VZF. SS. That's the fuck. SS. What's the fuck. Uh, no, I just, oh. I'm trying to think about if there's anything with the SS like. You know what I mean. So could it, could it be like playing on the thing that is like a fashion designer? It's just like being Hitler yeah. never goes out of fashion. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fascist or fascist? Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's Dynamite. it. That's it. Yes. That is absolutely fascist it. Fascist or fascist. Right, we got there. And I'm happy that we did. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Right, and the we want to look... What would the poster look like? What poster design? I designed these posters through AI. <laughs> okay. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, would, um, I would love to see what AI spits out if you put in fashionista or fascist mister. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. We are all, Oh, my God. I feel that it is... It's it's got I, well, I, mean, I think it's got to be fucking. I think it's got to be just like you know those posts where it's kind of sort of just her face mm. and it's sort of close and it, it's it's very portrait, but there's just something wrong with it. Whether there's the reflection of something what? in her eye, in yeah. her eyes, like whether it's you know on, on one side you know it's Hugo Boss and the other it's Calvin Klein. <laughs> what if it's like? What I if think it's, Calvin Klein didn't do anything. What if it's like that like mania of her like that? Eyes, w- eyes wide, mouth wide, and it's almost like there's like a, do you know, like a like a cosmic circle in her mouth. Like I imagine if she is tripping, it is it's all fancy in her head, isn't it? So yeah, that yeah. idea of like what she's seeing, but it's this, it's a world within a world yeah. within a world. And uh, and on the poster, like in that sort of psychedelic bit, there's like there's random things of you know there's fa- fashion, there's the German flag, mm. there's a boots, there's a dance floor, mm. you know, uh, there's a guy called Cock, there's a letterbox, but there's also an alarming amount of uh, Jack Russells in this thing. And people are like, who the fuck are the Jack Russells? Yeah. And then what if the face is made up of Jack Russells? <laughs> <laughs> that but, in like a, but in a DMT way. Yeah, like, yeah. Way that, like, no, yeah, yeah. So her entire face is just made, made Jack Russell's Russell. <laughs> little box. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, That's all, yeah. Jack Russell's has like a swastika on its fur and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what the, what the twist like, might I be? I would have assumed it was a Deshunt. <laughs> <laughs> the Jack Russell's are ours. A you can't get a more British name than Jack Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I like that. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'll try my best. I'll try my best <laughs> for that. I can't, I can't guarantee anything. Uh, but the last thing that we need from you, Dan, is um, just uh, offering for the pot for the next guest. So a line that they're going to have to deal with in the future. Um, and it turned out it wasn't his own cum. <laughs> it was his own cum. It, it wasn't his own, own cum. Okay, I like that one. That's uh, definitely. Is that a finishing line, a starting line, or a, a prompt? Yeah, mate, it's a line. <laughs> it's uh, a line. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Gonna go in somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, mate, thank you so much for coming on the pod. Thanks for having me, man. And yeah, thank you so much for doing it. Oh, my absolute pleasure. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just saw like just epic rain out of it's, nowhere, and I'm like, why? Yeah, why yeah. does yeah. this city hurt me? <laughs> Are you not? Am I about to insult you? Are you not Melbourne? I'm Sydney, brother. Oh, sorry, man. That's what, okay. What a horrible thing to say to you. No, it's, I, don't, I don't mind. Okay. I'm a wanker. Like, you know, <laughs> it, it checks. Yeah. <laughs> it checks. Like, just Melbourne is very similar weather. Yeah, no, weather. Sydney's like, let's get dry, baby. Yeah. Yeah. That's not a tagline. <laughs> <laughs> That's a prompt, though. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Well, um, is there anything else that we need to... No, no. Is there anything you'd like to plug? Obviously, I imagine yeah. people just find you anywhere, but I don't know if you've got anything anything going on that you'd like to share with our 238 followers. Um, I, <laughs> no, man. Just look me up if you'd like my shit. Continue to watch my shit. If you don't like my shit, please watch other comedy. Like, bear in mind, it's, there's, it's, I hate people who think they don't like stand-up comedy. Because I'm just mm. like, I, man, there are crazy... Christian comics in America. Yeah. John Chris, that fucking guy. He keeps popping up yeah. my algorithm. Man, there's fucking, he, there's, there's, there is some comedy for everyone in the fucking mm. world. If 100%. you hate my shit, find something that you love and just, even if it's a comedian I fucking hate, just go enjoy comedy, man. Nice. Ace. Well, right. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank I'd you say. very thank much. You. Thank you. 
yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the pod, please go and tell people. Uh, it makes a massive difference. Keep leaving us the positive reviews and that. Keep sending in the prompts. And yeah, that has been All Made Up with Daniel Sloss. Thank you once again. Cheers. Thank you so much. It's